Hello, I'm back. It's me. How you doing? I'm starting off. Now, this is a collaboration between me and Valerie from Give Me Lips and More. And... What I picked for the inspiration, since she let me pick, was I found this absolutely gorgeous fractal picture. Blues and greens and oranges, it's great. We have plenty of material to work with. But what I was thinking when I was looking at that, since this is, a lot of this is Christmas stuff, is that's the magic of Christmas. Have you ever seen a fractal pattern form? It grows like crystals. It really does. It's an amazing process to watch this repeating pattern form over and over and become the most incredible images. So, yeah, it's the magic of Christmas. Now, I'm going to start off my part of this. I've got this really nifty eye primer that's, and it's, it's called a lid and liner primer. It's from Sephora. It's one of the little, I had bought one of their leftover play boxes during one of their sales. So I got some nifty things. This was part of it. It's a powder, a dry powder. So instead of having a sticky base, you've got this wonderful dry powder in this very neutral color. So I'm going to see how this works. Yeah, I know. Taking my life into my own hands with this, doing this without uh, having had a lot of experience with it. What the hell? It's just makeup. La 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 la. Now me, in my current collection, I don't have a lot of orange. I've got a little yellow, got a little orange, but I've got some absolutely gorgeous stuff because it was driving me crazy trying to find some decent blues and greens. Which is another part of the reason I picked that lovely picture with all the blues and greens in it. I wanted to have at least a reasonable collection of blues and greens. Of course, they announced the Husina 2 palette right after I sent right after I sent off this order for a bunch of singles from ColourPop. That's all right. The singles from ColourPop cost me a whole lot less than the Husina 2 palette would have. Now, trying to find some colorful stuff to work with is not always easy when you're working in budget land. Yeah, they've got one nifty little palette that you can sometimes find at Dollar Tree, depending on where you're at and what your Dollar Tree happens to carry, that LA Colors did, that's got like, it's either four or six in the little square palette. And they've got one that's got a lot of greens, one blue and a cream. And I went to go look for it the other day they didn't have it in my Dollar Tree anymore. They was out. Shame on they. Anyway, so what I'm doing is cobbling together. I've got my little color pops. 
Yes, I'm getting. I'm gonna get a magnetic palette for it. Chill. Maintain. We will see where we end up. Let's see. Where am I gonna start with this? Here, brushy, brushy, brushy. Is not my brushy brushy. La 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 la. There's my brushy brushy. Yeah, it's gotten kind of stained dark because I've been doing dark colors with it lately. It's been washed fairly recently. It's been color switched. I've got my foundation on. I've got my eyebrows. Let me remember to do this other thing first. You know, a thing where you powder just a little bit in case stuff falls all over you. It's Maybelline. La, la, la. I bet there's a bunch of you that never ever heard those old commercials. Some of us heard lots of old commercials. So, it's like there was this Maybelline commercial that it's like, is it natural or is it Maybelline? And the end, tag end of the commercial was, it's Maybelline. Don't expect me to sing. <laughs> I will spare you most of the time with my singing. Believe me, it's definitely a gracious goodness if I... I used to be able to sing, and then I ended up with COPD, and I have coughed and hacked and wheezed so much at this point that my throat is pretty well kind of chewed up, and it just doesn't work the way it's supposed to anymore. So sorry. <laughs> anyway, let me grab up my brush and let me figure out where I want to start with this. I think I'm going to start right here. I'm going to snatch up some of this lightly orange blusher that's in this particular box. Now, if you really need to know, it's the Profusion Glitter and Glam. And this is the Eye and Cheek Palette in Sultry. So, I've got all of this stuff. And I'm snatching up from here, which on the camera doesn't necessarily look that orange, but in the pan it is. Pale, but orange. And we will see how this goes. terribly colorful, but it's a start. I think I'm going to leave the rest of the color for the other bits that are in the color pop boxes. I've got so many to choose from right now in the color pops because I went crazy. Buying up greens and mats and shimmers. Picked up a few blues and mats and shimmers. And it was entirely too much fun. I also picked up the uh, color pop, pop 
no filter foundation in the stick. I think I'm in love. It goes on nicely. It's good color match for my pale self. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. What are you caring about, dog? My dog is looking for a toy. Again. Evil thing. Evil. And, let's see. What else do I want out of here? I think I'm going to sneak in a little bit, just a tiny bit, of this deep purple they've got in the corner. Now, in the palette, it's called Cashmere. And in the palette, it actually looks like a red-brown. But as soon as you start putting it on, it's purple. And the orangey blush that I used is called Breathtaking. I've still got whatever breath I had, so I'm not sure that that was absolutely breathtaking. Yes, my lighting is going weird again. I've got one itty tiny ring light that is part of a little clamp system that I picked up when I first started doing this. And it holds my camera, which is currently my phone. And it's got the little adjustable ring light and they're both on flexi arms and it clamps to the desk so yeah it's pretty nifty not not the world's best but hey it's a start so part of my lighting comes from my computer monitor when it wants to cooperate. Sometimes it doesn't like to cooperate. Yes, if you still hear scrambling, it's the dog still looking for his toy. Such a pain in the tuckus. Good thing he's cute. Let's see. Now I get to pick my green and my blue. Let's see what I've got. Well, that green actually looks too blue. <laughs> and that one, that's my This is the one I used the other day. Yep, that's the mat. The lights start getting funky. I can't have a little trouble telling which one is which. Okay. That's glass bowl. Glass bowl is very pretty. But it's an it's kind of a duochrome got some purpley stuff in it. It's got a green shift to it. We will see. Glass bowl is pretty. Then we have bashful, which is a very pale green unless you get it right in the right light. I've got 
sideline. And tea garden. Ooh, I think that's going to be one of them. And then I've got. This one's called Two Piece. I think I know what I'm doing now. All right. Yay! Yay, yay, hooray. Yay, yay, hooray. La, 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 la. This looks before I get get going and start squirting things. No. This one's definitely gonna need a couple of squirts. Let me see about my blue. Blue, 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 blue. not as worried about necessarily needing to squirt this one yet. Let's see. Alrighty. Throw that one down. Pick this one up. Then, all right, where'd you go? You know, you get yourself in trouble when you put too much stuff on your desk at the time. Spritzer was behind my soda. I tell you, you just can't trust me. <laughs> and you know, I've got a bunch of people, I will guarantee you, that one of is somewhere dying of apoplexy because I did not do a fancy formal cut crease. So, you know, it is what it is. And me, I kind of go my own way anyway. just because I can. <laughs> Go ahead, you get yourself to 60 and then see if you don't take it, un take, take it under advisement to do as you please. It's like you may listen to somebody else's advice, but hum, nah, don't let them try and tell you what to do. You've earned some time off from that stuff if you have gotten this far. And let's be real, if you have gotten this far and have gotten 
to like 60. I figure you ought to know by now how to take care of yourself and what your likes and dislikes are. I would probably, unless you had a serious illness that was disrupting you, I would probably think you were capable of making your own mind up even. I'd be telling them, look, they got this far by themselves, didn't they? Occasionally tell my daughter in law that, but shh. She's still young enough to think it's okay. And mostly she means well. She just gets worried about some of us. So, you know. I'll at least admit, mostly listen. Da, da, da. Okay, yeah. This is a wet and wild finish spray bottle. It's full of water. I understand people like to use their setting sprays and stuff to shoot these things, but it's expensive! Maybe when I've got a million followers and I'm YouTube famous, I'll think about such things. and consider such things. Right now, yeah, not so much. Water works just fine. Alrighty. So far, so good. Mm. We'll see how far I actually get today. My hands are a little crampy. Uh, fibromyalgia stinks. It does. It really does. Because there's nothing they can really do for you specifically unless you've got a situation where your fibro is attached to something else that they can treat. Fibro doesn't really have treatment. It has occasionally something that'll help. I have some medication that likes to do double duty. It not only helps take care of my believe it or not have anxiety if I'm out with real people. Talking to you on the camera? Yeah, we're pretty good about that, but I'm not so good in a crowd. Which is why I'm glad I'm on this side of the camera. But my anti-anxiety medicine helps a bit in dealing with my fibromyalgia. I don't know why. I don't really care why, as long as it keeps doing it. But I've got these little trigger points in some of my joints. 
that will sometimes set it off, or they just lock up whenever the fibromyalgia gets too bad. Which is why some of my videos are up early and some of my videos are already sitting in queue and scheduled and ready to go and some of my videos are a little late in the day. I try to get them done on a relative schedule but Guys, love you though I do, sometimes my hands are just not working. Because everything from the top of my little head to the bottom of my big flat feet happens to be hurting that day. And that's part of some of the reason that occasionally, especially if I'm doing several in a row, that's where I started doing some of the ones where I'm not talking. It's just blitz through real quick. Here, watch me blend it triple speed. And then I come on for a brief few minutes and say, here, here's it, look. Because if I'm hurting bad enough, no, I don't want the camera to sit on me for very long because then you'll see it necessarily and I'm not always capable of really talking very well when this is going on so I get finished putting on the makeup snatched up the platinum out of the glitter and glam Some of you may want to wonder why I'm telling you all this now. Because I felt like it. I've had a few people inquire privately about why I do some of the things the way I do. And I figured I would cover everybody with a small shout out on my situation in one of the videos. I figure if anybody really wants to know and is actually following me thoroughly, they'll see it. Relatively even. Close enough anyway. Alrighty. Now, the color pops that I used are Tea Garden and Two Piece. In case you want to know. Anyway, I'm going to pop off of here, clean up a few things, probably stick some lashes on. You know, little stuff. Little stuff finish up the face and I'll be back and that's a finished look I do believe I'm ready to go out what do you think what I finished off with is believe it or not profusion as yet another glitter and glam 
and this is the blush and bronzer kit. Now, the reason I have all this perfusion stuff, <laughs> shut up, dog. The reason I have all this profusion stuff is because this is all sets that they put together for the holiday. This one, with all this lovely stuff, the contours and the blushes and the highlights and stuff, that one was all of five dollars because it was put out as a holiday set. The one that I showed you earlier, the Glitz and Glam set in Sultry, their version of Sultry. Now I've had this one long enough, I've actually done an, a, a real review on it. Five dollars. Five dollars. And things like, there's the pewter. Well, excuse me, the platinum. That's the platinum. I do believe this is a pretty good set. And this pretty good set set me back five bucks. That's it. So, yep, still sticking to the budget. Now, the lipstick, Femme Lipstick by, Cream, by Clean Color. This one is called Burnt Sugar. And I put a little bit of inexpensive gloss over it. This is sashing, Sassy and Chic that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Not so bad for a cheap old broad, huh? Be good.